So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to test a micro switch. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to test a micro switch. Um, and I have a bunch of them here. So what I'm gonna do, so it's nice to have quite a few if you're gonna test these, but probably have an issue with your microwave and you're only gonna have three to test. Um, they're gonna come in a housing such as something like this and you'll have three to test on there. Um, these ones have all been removed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I stick my leads into the terminals and this one is reading, we have no reading right now. So when I push this down, so this is an open switch, I push this down, I should get a reading of about one and I am, so this is telling me the switch is working, but it's pretty greased up, so I'm not too worried about this one. I don't really want to use this one. So if you look here, you can see that there's a little line right here. So if you can get your fingernails in there or a knife, you can kind of pry that open. And you're not gonna open these if you're testing yours. I'm just gonna show you how they work and what the basic and it's just virtually held in there with a couple prongs. So as I remove this, so here's the cap, I mean, virtually all it's held with, as you can see, there's three little prongs here, and then these two, and it just slides into place. So here's virtually the whole inner workings of a micro switch. As you look here, you can see, here's one of the leads, and what happens is, so you're gonna have power that's gonna come up through here, and you can see there's like a little space. There's a little space right here at the tip there. So because there's a space there, when electricity is coming through here, we cannot get power to come from here and hop to this other terminal. So what happens, hence when we put these two leads in there, we're not getting anything to come through here. So that's why we're getting no reading. Um, so we're getting no reading. So then what happens when that lever gets shut, your microwave door, or, you know, these can be in cars, they can be in... When the microwave door closes, it hits a little piece of plastic, which comes down. It's a little lever system, and that will push this down. And as you can see, when I push this down, that connection is made. So now it's considered closed. So this one's considered an open micro switch. And then when this lead comes down, it is closed and then that's why power is able to come through. So this would allow your microwave, when your door is closed on your microwave, this is gonna allow electricity to flow through and this would allow your microwave to operate when the door is closed. And that's how a microswitch works.